Hey guys, so today we're going to work up in the free cell barn, getting it ready to put our two floor scrapers in. So these robots bump up against the curb to know where they're at. They can sense when they touch up against something. So we have to make sure our curbs are high enough. I'll show you what I mean up there then. So all they are is just a little scraper blade. It's just U-shaped there. Scrapes across the ground and it'll push anything into the slats. And then they do have a little water sprinkler right there. So there's a water tank in there. It'll fill up through this and spray some water out in front. You don't run that during the winter. It'll freeze up, but it's nice in the summer. It's supposed to keep it from getting so dried out. And then these are the little water hookups. So we're gonna have to have water set up for those as well. Just gonna come driving down through here and then wanna bump up against this wall. Right now we have a three and a half inch step right here. And we need about five inches, that should be enough. So we're just gonna put a two by four, lay it flat on here and that'll add another inch and a half. Then the charging station's gonna sit right in here on the end out of the way so we're not driving through with the skid loader. We come in with bedding, we go around this way so we, we don't drive through here. We have to wire up an outlet, put it right up there so we can plug that charger in then. We'll get these boards on first and then we have to work at some gates then in the middle of the barn too. A couple of these doors that we come in a lot with bedding, we're gonna actually make them that we can remove them. The skid loader will probably tear them up. We'll just put a couple blocks that it'll sit against. So it comes to a little under five inches laying flat like this. We're just not sure that we want to flip them upright. Probably just try it this way and if it doesn't work we can add another board right on top of them. We just don't want the robot coming in and then riding up on top of there and then it'll just get hung up. So once we put it in, it could potentially push this out of place. We might have to make something to kind of hold it in place a little more then. The other doors will be a little more permanent so we can just fasten the board straight down. You don't have to put those little blockers in. We got the four doors at this end of the barn done. Now we got four more on the other side of the barn. This end of the barn we don't really drive through, so we're just fastening the boards down. We got the outsides of the barn done. It's good to go. That was kind of the easy part. Changing the gates is going to be a little bit more work. We have one robot for each side of this middle alleyway. It doesn't have to cross this at all. It needs to be able to cross underneath these gates though to get both of these two groups on each side. This gate should be done and also that gate on that side so I can cross through the back. Yes, basically all we have to decide is how, how far up do you want to move? Two inches? Like the top two yeah. inches? So they recommend 25 inches of clearance. We can get rid of the bottom rung, but the problem is the second rung is still a couple inches too low. There's eight total gates we have to do. One, two, three, four, five. There's three on that side over there. These gates were put in in 2004. They're starting to wear out. The bottom rungs are rusting out, look at that. But we just wanna get them working. Someday we'll have to replace all these and then we can get them built the way we need them. So we'll cut this off here. We're gonna get rid of the whole bottom rung. 
Now we're trying to think of the easiest way to shorten it. We'll cut two and a half inches out of here, here and here, and then just slide that up. Right? Yep. So I think the first thing would be to cut this. Do the same thing there, and then this end, we got to leave this on because of the hinge. And we, well, first we were thinking of putting a brace in to strengthen this a little bit. But then we just thought if we get some, some metal eighth inch thick, just put a piece on each side and we can just weld across that. It'll give us a little more strength. Keeping it enough that I can yeah, get a weld there. Yeah, right this out. It might be a little bit of a challenge to weld this metal just because it's kind of rusting. Hopefully I can do a good enough job. I'm gonna keep it up a little. I'm gonna just keep it like that, yeah. That look good? Yeah. yeah. Definitely a challenge welding that. It's just pretty rusty. But I got decent welds on that plate. It's gonna give it some good strength. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be better than it was. So we got just under 25 inches of clearance. The robots run about 23 inches or a little less. I don't think we lost any strength. We probably gained some strength it's actually. Stronger than it was before. The bottom rung pretty much had nothing to it anymore, and now we got this brace in helping attach up higher. So just got to do it seven more times. That first gate took a little bit of time, but the second one should go a lot faster. Know exactly what to do now. Just gotta cut two and a half inch section out of these two. Cut this off, cut this off, and this and that. So I got that clamped together, I'll weld that first. Then we'll flip it over the other side and we'll put this plate on there just to help. I'm able to get a better weld that way rather than just across there. So I got those two tacked on. Now at the end, it leaves a little bit of a gap because it's kind of hard to cut that completely flush with the pipe there. Doesn't really matter because we're gonna put this on top and then I'll be able to weld this right there.
bit. Got both of these gates done. And we just got this one finished up too. I'm working on the sixth gate now. We thought there was eight, there's actually nine we have to do. So just three more after this. Those two gates are done. All the gates on that side of the barn are done. We just have that one, that one there, and that one right there. Let's try to finish those up tomorrow. We're also gonna haul some manure because it's supposed to be colder, so it's gonna keep us busy this week. So my sprayer doesn't have the RV antifreeze in anymore and could potentially cause an issue if it freezes up. I'm just gonna pull that tractor and sprayer in the shop. Close the door, make sure it doesn't get too cold. We're going to try to clean the special needs pen out tomorrow. We look for those cold mornings to get out in the field. That's a tight fit, but it's good. Okay, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, guys. I can just barely get in my office.